Are we recording? Yes, I believe we are. Okay. So, Ben. Yeah. How did you find out about Omeo in the first place? Oh my gosh, I saw a video on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? That looks so cool. I don't remember which one it was, but soon I had watched all of them. So I was like, oh, this looks awesome. Uh -huh. Just seeing a chair that didn't look dorky, I was like, I don't want to, like, I'm going to have power. I want one that doesn't look dorky, right? Yeah. And I looked at a few other chairs, actually. But I said, you know what? I'm just going to wait because I'd rather wait and get that thing because it looks so cool. Because I said, you know, I'd rather wait forever for that than just take whatever else is out there. Yeah. And so far a weekend, I'm really glad I waited, personally. Does it meet your expectations? Um, I didn't have a clear expectation of what it was going to be like because I didn't have any kind of frame of reference, right? There was no way to know how to compare this to even like I'd only driven a couple power chairs ever and I'd only used a manual chair before that, so I didn't really know what to expect at all. And I tried it, I, um, I did a, a test drive like before I had actually bought one. Yeah. And the test drive was enough. As soon as I test drove it, I was like, okay, yeah, I don't know, like, I know what to expect now is something way cooler than I could have ever imagined. <laughs> the, the seat wasn't set up right for me, and it was way more work than it should have been to drive it because it wasn't set up correctly for me. Um, but it was a taste and that was enough. Like as soon as I got a taste of what it could do, I was like, oh, this looks like fun. I never got to take it out of turtle mode even. So it was like very much just like a taste, a little preview of what it might be like. Yeah. But it wasn't, you know, now I have my chair set up correctly so that it actually fits me and I can drive it correctly. And I you know, have, never have it in turtle mode again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> to go from being in a manual chair where it's, everything you do is so effortful and every little movement is very much like uh i'm gonna back up a little here i think in a manual chair when i was you know and i was in one for 16 years i always found myself bargaining with distance if that makes sense yeah like oh well that trash can is 10 feet away and that one's 30 feet away, but that one's backwards and that one's forwards and I gotta choose my battles all the time. I'm constantly calculating because how it's far it's gonna to be. Cover yeah. That. yeah, yeah. And it's like, well, that sounds like fun, but it's all carpet or whatever. <laughs> right. But my, my brain had developed essentially a calculus of calculating how much effort everything is gonna be. Right. And so everything I'm thinking of, every activity I want to do is an adventure that is calculated based on how much effort it's going to be to get it done. Is it really going to be fun enough to warrant putting in that much energy just to like be, try to be included, right? Yes. Um, so now, if now when somebody, say somebody invited you to a party at a park, how would you, what, what's the difference now? What do you see that I mean, being like? <laughs> like? I'm like, is there grass? <laughs> Yay! That's actually right? a good thing. Yeah, though. yeah. I'm like, it's just so much fun to be able to like freely roam on carpet and grass. And I mean, I haven't actually gone hiking yet, but I yeah. can't wait. And yeah. I, I have some plans. Mm -hmm. uh, throw those uh, throw those off road tires on and really give it the give it a, the rounds mm -hmm. off road. Wow. Because yeah. I mean, I've done some cool uh, like you know soft trail and rocky trails a little bit with the the street tires. And it did pretty well. I mean, you know, on a pretty f relatively flat surface, mm -hmm. um, felt pretty good. But I'm really excited to see what this thing does off road. Yes. I mean, I used yeah. to love going out in nature. I mean, I used to, you know, mountain bike up in the hills, and I miss it. I miss just, you know, being in nature. It's really sad to miss nature. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and um, and that's something that I think every human being needs a bit of in their life. And it's something that I think a lot of disabled people don't get much of, yeah. if any. Mm -hmm. And if they do, they're working way harder for it than they should have to. Yeah. So it becomes, again, this calculus of is it worth communing with nature to put my hands and wrists and shoulders and elbows and just energy through that, right? I understand. I really understand. Yeah. yeah.
Mm-hmm. And to you, it doesn't feel like okay. So I know a lot of people, a lot of people with spinal cord injury that mm-hmm. are capable of pushing a manual chair, like you were and like I was. Mm-hmm. We have issues with with power, so I used to have people say to me, why don't you have a power chair? And I would say, well, it weighs a lot, yeah. and it's a whole lifestyle change, and I yeah. wouldn't get any exercise. Right. And I would, I would say sometimes to them, the same reason you don't have a wheelchair. I mean, because I don't need it, because I can push. So it didn't yeah. make sense to me to have a power, power wheelchair. Yeah. Um, but I also started getting my hands hurting and everything. But regardless of that, when I saw a video of Omeo, I felt the, I felt like it looked, it looked cool, and um, I didn't feel like I was compromising. So that feeling that you had just asking for help around campus, yeah. When you go around with this, is there any of that? Um, I I think I'm going to start by just kind of thinking about the aesthetic, right? Like. When you see someone in a regular, in like a standard, like FDA kind of power chair instead of like a more recreational vehicle like this, it's clear. It is a medical device. It is not intended to look good. It is not intended to be stylish or intriguing to the people that see it. It has a utility. It serves it, maybe not even very well, but it serves it, mm-hmm. and that is all that it has, has to offer. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And. I care what I look like. I care how people perceive me. I have a good time going out and doing things. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I'm not living my life based on other people's view of me, but I'm a human being just like everybody else. And the way I look and the way I feel is related to how other people look at me. Yeah. This thing looks sleek. It looks space age. Yeah. You know, my friend, uh, one of my friends who's like a, a young person saw it and was like you're driving a spaceship <laughs> yes. and i'm like yeah i am yeah. i even named it a spaceship like yeah. after a spaceship yeah, i call mine the tie, the tie fighter. fighter right which is uh, <laughs> i think very fitting given the sounds that it makes yeah and the, the two wheels with a uh, pilot in the middle which is yeah. not a lot like a tie fighter um but no one ever looks at someone in a power chair and says you are driving a spaceship no. they say right you look like you're in a big clunky power chair. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And there's nothing wrong there's, with that. No, it has a utility. So much compassion and understanding. Yeah, yeah. And not and this the Omeo unfortunately isn't for everybody. Yeah. But the, I have friends that were, were riding power chairs that are riding Omeos. Yeah. And yeah. and and then your regular able bodied friends, if they had one, they would also have a blast because Yeah. It's, like it's just fun. Nobody can ride it and not think it's awesome. It's really a thrilling experience. It really is. It really is. And well, I'm so I'm so happy for you. Just I we we talked with the night that you got it, and mm-hmm. um, and you to me sounded like you were just beside yourself with oh my happiness. Oh my I gosh. know you were writing. I, still I think am. you put ten miles on it. Well, I still am, and it's been a year. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't put 110 miles on it in a week. In a week, I you put ten know. miles. More I than did. ten miles yeah, a day. Yeah. And, the first um, day I put ten miles. Second why. day I put like eighteen. Yeah, you're yeah. living on. You're living. Ben is living on the Stanford campus, and it's a gorgeous. Yeah, there's so many great so places pretty. to go ride, and so yeah, many great places it's to so just pretty. I want to live on the Stanford campus. Right? You know, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 just beautiful to go whipping through this, and everything yeah. is the it's, it's hilly, a little the, hilly, yeah, but yeah. not very hilly, and it's. And it's really gradual, yeah. Like uh, everything's concrete and asphalt paths, and then big expanses of grass, and right. everything on it is really fun to ride this around. So yeah. I'm just so happy for you that you get to spend three years riding this around Stanford. It's like a dream life. It really is. Uh, it's, uh, it has mm-hmm. been quite a journey mm-hmm. already, mm-hmm. and it's just getting started. It's just the first beginning. Yeah, and you've been such a great the support. First 110 miles. You've been such a great support in this whole journey <laughs> okay. so far already. Good. You're already um, better at it than me. You think so? Maybe not know. with the doors. I don't know. You're better. <laughs> you're better at seat steering than me. Still, I'm learning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, the only thing more fun than an omeo is two omeos. <laughs> we had a, a team, right? You know? Right. I mean, the more omeos, uh, yeah, just yeah. compounds it. But having yeah. a buddy is 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 really fun because really you're the same pace. 
Yeah. Everybody else used to be too fast for us. Now everyone mm -hmm. else is too slow. I know. I know. <laughs> but you know, it's actually really easy to pace with people that you are can. walking. You yeah. can. Yeah. You don't you have to go very fast. very easily just cruise this thing at a walking pace. And, and they can walk and you can go to the end of the yeah. block and come back. Right. You, right. you could go like. You could tell them to jog. <laughs> yeah. Please jog because you're too slow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, thanks so much, Ben. Thank, Thank you, you so Gretchen. much for your time. Thank you. It's been really fun. I really appreciated all of that you've helped me with. Yeah. Oh, you're so welcome. It's my pleasure. <laughs>